Hello. Last episode was 20 minutes of me failing, and I'm sorry about that. In this episode, we're going to just make it so that the things that snap together snap together. So the way we do that is here in Hit Update, where we get the hit and the hard point. We actually do set the position, as you can see, but we set it wrong. There's something wrong with how we set it. So let's go ahead and see whether that's what's wrong. The click, and then... That looks backwards, so let's go ahead and try that again. Uh, the problem is that when we set the position, uh, uh, we have an issue with, if we set the position wrong, then the raycast hit that follows up will immediately set it back to being, uh, oh, that's actually probably the problem in whole. There we are. So uh, we need to actually change this so that instead of setting it to the position of the hit, we want to set it to the position of the, the uh, hard point that we hit. No, not parent. And this will make it so that it doesn't have any of that sliding around. There we are. It snaps together nicely, see? Click. Click. Oh, at the last second it fails when I do that, so click. It looks like when we do click it, it does something wrong. We hit a hard point, huh? But then when we click, it doesn't actually place it based on... Oh, you know what it is? It's here. Um, you know what we need to do? We need to... <laughs> when we click to put it on the ground, that has precedence. So what we need, what we actually need to do is um, uh, make it so that we have bool place on ground equals true, and then in here we have to say uh, uh, sorry, uh, let's change that. So not bool place on ground, but bool uh, hard point connection equals false. And then here we say hard point connection equals hit update. And the reason for this is we're going to change hit update into being a bool, which returns false if there was no hard point connection, and true otherwise. And this will allow us to avoid double placing things. Um, we were having some annoying issues with that. So here, down below, we say if not hard point connection. Oh, I deleted it apparently. I thought I copied it. There we go. Well, I guess we don't need this part anymore. All right, so now what we do is we only place it on the ground if there's no hard point to connect to. So if we click here and then we click here, oh, I missed again. What is that? It's still not working right. Oh, um, there's the problem. Uh, here, when we change object to place dot transfer dot position equals, we actually want to change the cursor's position to that. Um, we were moving around the object without moving around the cursor. There we are. Now it all works fine again. So we had two bugs layered up there, and uh, they combined rather naughtily. All right, so now you can see that we can go ahead and uh, um, change all of the hard points around to any configuration we want. Uh, watch. So let's take this hard point, let's duplicate it. 
Let's rotate it. Oh, I'm in debug mode. Um, there we are. All right, so let's rotate it 90 degrees, and let's put it here. Oh, it's the wrong shape, isn't it? No, it's the right shape. Can't see it. Oh, it's huge. Um, we don't want it to be that huge. Let's go ahead and make this... Uh, like so. There we are. All right. Um, by the way, I did make this into a prefab, but that was because I was worried back when I was doing yesterday's nasty 20 minutes of fail episode. I just couldn't figure it out. Um, so we can now connect here, and as you can see, we can actually snap into the exact same location that we were. So we need to do two things now. We need to make it so we can rotate the object, and we also need to make it so that we can um, uh, uh, not only rotate, but also check and see that the uh, uh, hard points are connected properly, that is to say, facing exact opposite directions. Let's start off with the rotate, uh, and we're going to do that here in the cursor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make that the first thing that we check for. No, not mouse. Later on, we'll go, we're going to go ahead and change this to something else, but for now, or something more useful. But for now, uh, we'll just hard code it. That's much better. Can you start to see where the game might start to become interesting? All right, so um, we've got it so the hard points all collide quite nicely. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to make it so that uh, the hard points have to be facing opposite directions. That's actually pretty easy. So first off, we just do that. Which is first off, only off. It's right here. Um, we just make sure that the two hard point normals are different. So hit dot transform uh, vector three dot normal comp uh, normal delta equals hit dot transform dot forward minus hard point dot transform. Uh, that's already a transform. Dot forward. There we are. Uh, if normal delta dot magnitude is greater than 0.1f, then return false. And that just says if the two hard points are faced are not facing in the same direction, we can't snap them together anymore. So we used to be able that we could snap together like that right height, like there we are. That didn't didn't prevent it at all. Oh, I subtracted when I should have added. That only works when they're pointed the same direction. We want it so that it only works when they're pointed in opposite directions. Okay, so you can see how it no longer gets snapped on. But we can place it on top of things, even though... Oh, I took out the requirement that the hit doesn't train... Uh, all right. In case you're, I, I took out the requirement for it to be on terrain because I was having a problem where uh, uh, we couldn't use that hit anymore because it had been replaced later on. But that's okay, it all works fine now. So you can see how we can connect it here just fine, snaps right in. But we can't connect it going the other direction. Can we? Does it connect? Nope. It gets put on the ground. 
Um, so what we need to do now is we need to make it so that if a hard point hits anything other than the ground, uh, it does not allow the system to um, to work. So here when we say return false, return false, we don't actually want to return false. We want to return false only if we hit the terrain. So if we hit terrain, then the hard point is considered to not be a problem. But if the hard point hits anything else, what else is it hitting? Oh, I bet it's hitting its own object. And if the hard point hits itself, <laughs> no, that's still not working. Oh, um, oh, I have it backwards. Because false means that the hard point doesn't count. All right, so here we say um, here we say if the hard point hit terrain, then the hard point doesn't count. If the hard point hits itself, then the hard point doesn't count. If the hard point hits something that's not itself or the terrain, and isn't a hard point, then the hard point does count, but it just interferes. Now the reason we're doing this is because I don't want us to be able to overlap objects, and the hard points are the e are a very easy way to try and prevent that. Some it's not the best way, but it's the easy way. Uh, so if we go back into the game now and we hit play, when we place an object, well, you're not placing it. All right, did we not save it? Uh, so previously, I was able to click here, and uh, I can still do it. God damn it! <sighs> well, we'll figure that out next episode. Um, so this none, this is all nonsense, so you can just ignore it. All right. Uh, so we've, we've made it so that they all snap together and we can rotate stuff, and I think that's enough. I don't want to take you off another 20-minute episode of completely failing everything all the time. I will say that our hard points are kind of small, uh, so let's go ahead and just make them bigger before we leave. I forgot to save the scene. I usually save my first scene as a scene called Garden. So now that we made our hard points bigger, they should snap together easier. Alright, see you next episode.